What's up you guys? Welcome back to Everything Annabelle. My name is Annabelle. Um, if you are new, thank you for coming back. I apologize in advance, there's a golf tournament like going on. I, like, like I live right on a golf course and there's a golf tournament going on. So if you hear any like golf clap or banter or anything from far away, that's, I completely apologize. Today's video, I actually, I thought of it as soon as I woke up this morning, I don't know why. I had a conversation with Lauren yesterday actually and um, it kind of, I was thinking about it and it just kind of inspired me, I guess. Today's video, we will be talking about my five most useful apps on my phone. No, obviously everyone has Instagram, like Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, like whatever. The but there are some apps that I've found over the past, like, I don't know how long I've had an iPhone, the past, I don't want to say 10 years because that sounds like so crazy. But let's say the past, like, 7 to 10 years that I've had an iPhone. Um, there are some apps that no matter what phone I get, no matter when I upgrade my new phone, I always download these apps every single time. Um, I use them like multiple times a day and I absolutely love them and I think that they would be very useful for you guys. So I did make a list of them. Let me just get that. I did make a list of them. So during this video, I will tell you what my five most useful apps are as well as what they do, you know, what their purpose is, how often I do use them and just kind of going into things like that because I think you guys could definitely benefit from these. Two of them are a little bit more like girl focused, but we'll get into that as well. Okay, so first app that I really, really recommend having is this app called AccuWeather. So, cause this is what I was talking about yesterday with Lauren, cause we were trying to find out the weather for the day. And so the app, not to diss Apple, like not to diss the weather app that comes on the Apple phone in the past five to 10 years, that I've noticed that that app is the most like unreliable weather app I think known to man. But I don't think people think about getting like a better like weather app because like why would you if it, you already have one? I recommend getting it, getting an app called AccuWeather. It's spelled literally like A C C U and then like weather. To the app, it will show you like you pick a location and it literally like it has a rain dial. Like it will show you, it'll be like rain in like 29 minutes and like you bet your bottom dollar it will rain in 29 minutes. It's so accurate as far as even weather going down the week, like as far as weather apps go, like it will be accurate the entire week before like an event or something. So I, if I'm gonna, if I'm trying to make plans, I wanna go to the beach, if I wanna go into Boston, this app is my ride or die because it doesn't get more accurate than this AccuWeather app. So for anyone who is big into planning, anyone who wants to check the weather, definitely get this app because it helps me dress for the day, it helps me dress for like the next day, helps packing for like vacations and stuff like that. Uh, so I just find it so, so helpful. If you go onto the app as well, like it just looks bougie. I'm pretty sure it's free. I think Lauren downloaded it yesterday. It's bougie looking, like there's like a graphic going on. If it's raining, it'll be like raining. If it's like there's a thunderstorm, it'll like be thundering on the app. Like it's the cutest little like weather app ever. So I, that's my number one recommendation. My second recommendation is this app called SoundHound. So SoundHound is for trying to find out songs. I know most of you, this might not be like, for you, this you might be like, I already have my app to find music or whatever, but I know with me, um, if I'm in a place, cause I'm always like trying to find new music, if I'm in, in, in a store, even at work, like no matter where I am and there's a song, I'm like sound hat and I'm like trying to find out the song. My little sister did show me, this is another tip, besides from the app, um, Kiki showed me that on Snapchat, if you just hold down the screen, then it, that's like, is a sh like an instant link to Shazam. Um, so you can search a song there as well. My only thing with that is it's kind of weird, like depending on where I am, either one of the other like works. Like, so let me explain a little bit. If I'm in a mall, let's say, and there's a song playing and I whip out my SoundCloud and let's say it's like glitching for some reason and not doesn't work, then I go to, I resort to the Snapchat one. But then sometimes I'll do Snapchat first to try to find a song if I'm already on Snapchat and then Snapchat doesn't work. So then I have to use the SoundHound one. So I, in my you know years of having an iPhone, I've found SoundHound super, super um, helpful. So just little recommendation for you guys. My third recommendation, this one is a little bit more geared towards the ladies. It's called Bedsider. Uh, what this app does is it is a reminder for when to take your 
to take, it, it's a reminder to take, uh, it's a reminder app in which, so bed, <laughs> Bedsider is a reminding app catered towards women for a certain pill that a lot of women take every single day. If you catch my drift. Let's open it up. Every single day it gives you a sexual education fact. So it either gives you a fact or like a tip or something to know about like sexual health, sexual reproduction, like all of these different like sex ed like facts every single day. And then they link um, like the website or the article of where to find it. Cute app, it'll be like, oh like, hey, like, and it, it'll give you like a cute fat, a cute fact. It'll say, you know, time to take your whatever. I find that very helpful. And when you download it, it you set in the time because obviously like I know a lot of girls might have a time in their phone, but it's very easy to just kind of hit stop on your alarm and then go on with your day. With Bedsider, it kind of comes in like a text, like a text notification at the same time every single day. So for me, like I won't, I'll leave it in my notifications and I won't clear it until that has been taken. I found that super, super helpful. I am not, not to like say, but it, I, I genuinely think it has helped me with like 99.99% accuracy of like, re, of like repetition and making sure, you know, that gets taken. Um, just because I won't clear it until it, until I, it's taken. So, and it's because it comes in as a text, I find it easier to just leave in my notifications opposed to like like clearing it right away. So I definitely find that very, very helpful. I do use both, like I use my alarm and the app, but I also like reading the information on the app sometimes because sometimes they the articles like catch your eye, like it might be like products that you should be using, products that you shouldn't be using, like products that are good for your body, like your female like body um, and things like that. I definitely have enjoyed using Bedsider and I recommend it too. All you ladies out there another app that is a little bit more like lady to lady like ish is this app called flow and that will you know track your time of the month and again i like apps that give you facts and like information about things i always like to be informed on my body like what i use with my body you know how i can better manage my body how i can make things easier for myself and flow does a really nice job of that going into different products and going into like specialization because you can put in your own symptoms and your own sort of lifestyle and it tracks your time of the month and it gives you your like expectation of when you know your next time of the month will be and it's again very very accurate so as far as ladies are concerned i definitely find that to be very helpful lastly a little bit of just like i bet a lot of people have it already but i guess i'll just kind of go into my own personal use i use yelp which i know sounds so like I don't know. But I am a proud like 20 year old user of Yelp. Oh, do I review on Yelp? No, I don't. I just personally, my own experience that when I'm in a situation, if I'm in a state that I haven't been in, if I'm on travel, if I'm on vacation, like even if I'm around school, because even like Amherst, I don't know the area like completely. I love going into Yelp and I love searching, you know, food. I love searching a category of restaurant that I want, a cafe or like a restaurant or you know, what have you. And I found Yelp to be super helpful. You don't have to, cause I know a lot of people joke about Yelp, but you don't have to comment on Yelp or like anything like that. I just, I find it very inform informative and I love informative apps. I've gone to many um, restaurants that I found on Yelp. So I definitely recommend getting Yelp, even if you're not an active like Yelp reviewer, like whatever. Those are my five favorite apps that I use literally all the time and i thought that they would be very very helpful for you guys if you are interested that is all i have for this video thank you guys for watching everything annabelle